First of all, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true Holy Bible, beside the King of Kings, the royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, also the final five, true father, one of the West, for all the kings, Carl, I get you yet, one, yet with another lesson. Before I go farther in this lesson, lesson 10 to 2, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called African American blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, so called, and also the Israelite foreigners, they look at other nations. It's not based off the color of a person, but rather the heritage of their father. To you, I say shalom to the hopeful elect out there, the listening and learning, to the 12 tribes that scattered abroad greeting. I'm going to go right into this lesson real quick. I'm not going to take too much um, of you brother and sister's time. I'm going to go right into this lesson. The title of the lesson is going to be The Women of the Day. The women of the day's time have no purpose, literally. And as you see here, you see a woman here with a westernized um, philosophy. Uh, with a masculine spirit, you know, um, which which was created by our oppressors, you know. And um, the scripture talks about how, uh, I'm going to get in a second where it says that the multitude perished that was born in vain. And majority of these women in today's time is born in vain. You don't want a husband, which was which you was created to be a wife, to be a helpmate, to be a support system for your husband, for a man, the word woman means from man. You know, like the scripture says, I believe, I know it's in the, um, the New Testament where it says, um, the man is not of the woman, but the woman is of the man, you know? And what we're seeing here now is a westernized feminist society. Um, the Camilla Harris, all these things is not the uh, is Israel custom. Never was Israel custom. This is a new thing. The Bible talks about that how it's a new thing on earth for a woman should surpass the man. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's actually showing prophecy. And we are at the end time, you know. And a lot of these women is just taking up space. And I can see why a lot of women are going to be the, uh, be judged by the Most High. And his Holy Purchase Son, Yahweh Shah, and the Holy Angels. Because the beginning of sin came through the woman. And through her we all die, right? When you read the scriptures. And these women are straight mimicking what Eve did, you know, which which goes against the natural order of things. Let's get a scripture real quick. And before I get this verse, um, I understand why when you read Ecclesiastes, um, King Solomon mentioned it was very, very heavy when you read Ecclesiastes. He mentioned, I forgot exactly what chapter it was, but he mentioned that uh, one of the generations cometh um, one generation to come in, but the earth abides forever, you know? Um, meaning that each generation that comes upon this earth is different, you know? Um, just look at um, the Credit Scott King generation compared to now. Each generation is different. In this wicked generation we're living in, they are going to perish because they were born in vain, because they refused to hearken into the natural order of Yahweh. Let the multitude perish. This is as the second Ezra chapter nine verse twenty-two. Let the multitude perish that which was born in vain. They was born in vain because why? The Most High can't use a woman who's masculine. He can't use a woman who's trying to lead. <laughs> he can't use that because that's what exactly what Eve did. And the last time a woman led, she brought sin and death into the earth. You know. So this is a mimic of what Eve did. And that's why I read the book of Ezekiel when the angels come to judge this place. He says, slay other old and young, maiden, you know, and talks. I think he mentioned females twice in there, you know, because a lot of women are going to get judged, man. You know, and it's part of prophecy. We, you know, it's prophesied they're going to get judged. You know, that's in the book of Ezekiel. Let the multitude perish then, um, then which was born in vain. And let, let my grape be kept in my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. And that's talking about the hopeful elect. Now, we're not talking about all women because you have some women that's very, very rare. Very, very, very rare. That, that's trying to cleave. That's trying to be a wife, which is very rare. You know? Very well. Ain't too many sisters trying to hearken to their husband. You know, um, you have a very slim few. 
I just want to touch on this real quick. You know, it was on my mind. Like, you know what? Today's today's women, you know, it um they have a westernized ph- philosophy, which they are just in vain, just taking up time, taking up space. You know, what is your purpose? Your purpose is to be a wife, to be a helpmate, to be a pillar of rest. Not trying to be a man, not trying to battle a man, not trying to take on manly customs. You know, and I'm um, just on my spirit to just touch on that. And which a lot of women are going, is going to be destroyed, you know. A lot of women is going to lose their soul because of this one thing, that philosophy, that fruit that um, uh, that the serpent gave Eve, that which is a philosophy, you know. They have a vain doctrine. Christianity is in that. Feminism is in that fruit. You know, um, independence is in that fruit. You know, all these different things that oppose the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. That's what Esau, Edom, tricked Eve to believe in. And this is a repeat of what happened in the garden. These women have not changed. They took on the same philosophy as Eve and they're going to get judged. But this time they're going to experience a second death because there's no more regeneration after this. There's there's not going to be no more sacrifice for sin after this. So this is the this is this is a perfect time for you women to repent. Pray that the most high bless you with a husband. Uh, wear your uh, cover your head, wear modest apparel, and um and try to cleave to your husband. And so you can be delivered out of this captivity. But only select free women going to listen. You know, majority of women are going to perish, you know, because y'all refuse to hearken unto wisdom, you know. And the only way you can get the wisdom is through, is through a man, by the way, you know. With that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true and beside the King of Kings, the royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final part, you part of one west. This fall of kings, call right at you yet with another lesson. To the next lesson, I say shalom. And I want to say something briefly, real quick. You women ain't going to have no excuse on that day because men, brothers, videos, lessons, sit down classes, brothers on the highways and byways. I mean, this let this gospel has been 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 really been pushed. So you women can't say the serpent but God me and I did eat. You can't you can't hide under. Um, of not having no warning because the prophets are back. The men of the Lord are back. The teachers are back because I label myself as a teacher, you know. And we're here to try to watch for you, sister soul, but and you brothers, too. You know, we're here to teach all of our people, the, the men as well as the women. But the women plays a heavy part because the women is the anchor is the is the balance of the nation, you know. But like I say, a lot of you women not, are not going to repent. You know, you're going you're gonna to stay in that feminist mind state. And I just, like I say, and I want to say this one, one other thing too. It's not just the black woman. It's also the other nation of women as well. You know, because, but that comes from Eve because Eve is the trendsetter. You know, it's, which is the so-called black woman, the Latino woman, the Native American Indian woman, you know. And, um, you know, so I just pray you women repent. If not, there is a turn of judgment. And um, and to the next lesson, I say shalom, shalom to the hope elect out there. And I hope this lesson is very edifying. I hope you brothers and sisters repent and come to the law, statutes, commandments. And with that, I say shalom, peace and blessings to the hope elect out there. And shalom.